Okay, in this video, I'm gonna prove to you using mainstream media's own numbers and logic that CV19, you know I can't say it on this platform or I'll get my channel taken down, is not even close to being deadly enough to shut things down, let alone change your life in the least. Listen to this and pay careful attention to what they say. We're going to get right to the coronavirus outbreak. As we begin this morning, there are now more than 337,000 cases. And I want you to look at this chart right here. Let me move my picture over here. Look at this chart. Total U.S. cases, 337,000. Total U.S. deaths, they say, 9,600. Now, I want you to look at this. This is from the CDC's own website, and this is only regarding regular influenza that we've all had to deal with all of our lives, and nobody ever shut anything down for it. Let me show you this. This is estimates from the CDC, from the CDC's own site, from October 1st, 2019, there have been 39 to 55 million flu illnesses, not CV-19, just flu. 18 million to 26 million flu medical visits, that taxes the medical industry, 400,000 to 730,000 flu hospitalizations. And get this, guys, the death numbers are 24 to 63,000. Some are saying right now, as of January 1st, 2020, there have been over 30,000 flu deaths in the United States alone. Let me show you these numbers again. They're saying total U.S. deaths for CV-19, the thing that you should freak out about, the thing that you should close your businesses for, the thing that you should obey Bill Gates and Fed Chairman of St. Louis, James Bullard, that you need to get mandatory tests. Oh my God, the world is falling apart for 9,600 people. And those numbers, you can't even rely on them because people die who die from other causes, this is coming out every single day in droves. People who died, 80-year-olds who died from a fall. Oh, did they test positive from CV? Okay, we're just going to put on the chart that they died from CV. They can die with it and not of it, and they're going to put them in the category that they died because of it. Completely dishonest. Let's talk about testing. Testing is 80% false positives. 80%, guys. And they're not even improving on those numbers. So we got people dying of other causes that they're putting in the CV number, which is part of this 9,600 number in the United States alone, not to mention what they're doing in the world. They're fudging the numbers. They're trying to get you to freak out over 9,600, which is a fake number. It's much lower than that. Much, much lower than that by their own standard. And yet the CDC says over 31,000 people have died in the United States alone from regular influenza. Ask yourselves, guys, and stay tuned because I'm not done. There's something incredibly wrong going on here. Something incredibly evil. There's an agenda being foisted on us in the name of, and they're pinning it on CV-19. There are people who are responsible for crashing this economy, and they're going to blame it on CV-19, but they're not going to blame it on influenza. And there's something even more deadly than all of this, guys. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But just ask yourself, let me give you, let me give you kind of a, a metaphor. Let's say you lived in a certain city, and in that city, there were two murderers. One murderer, since January 1st, is responsible for killing three people, so they're calling him a serial murderer. But another guy that they're not giving any attention to at all has killed 321 people since January 1st. Since the first of the year, he's killed 321 people, but the news isn't reporting on him, but they are reporting on the guy who only killed three people. And they elevate and they accentuate this guy and they bring him out in 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They constantly talk about this guy, the guy that only killed three people. But somehow they conveniently ignore the other psychopath who's out there on a killing spree has already killed 321 people. They don't even mention him. But they want you to be scared and change your life for it. And by the way, this guy who's killed 321, he killed 1,500 last year. 2,500 the year before. And nobody ever changed their lives for him. Nobody ever washed their hands extra for him or closed their businesses for him or, or engaged in social distancing for him and was on high alert for him. But all of a sudden, because mainstream media has chosen to highlight the guy who killed three, now we're going to change our lives? Now we're going to say close for business on our businesses and shutter in our houses for this three? That's exactly what's happening. The guy who killed the 321... 
is the regular influenza virus that we've all had to deal with all of our lives. But the guy who's only killed three, that's CV-19. But wait, there's more. Check this out. And I'm, by the way, I'm only going from mainstream media figures. This right here is the World Health Organization. Under tuberculosis, let me just ask you before I, before I scroll down. How many people were infected with tuberculosis in 2018? How many people came down with it and it started exhibiting symptoms? And from those people, how many people actually ended up dying? Check these numbers out and ask yourself why the hell we're not changing our life for tuberculosis. A total of 1.5 million people died from TB in 2018, including 251,000 people with HIV worldwide. TB is one worldwide, guys, worldwide. TB is one of the top 10 causes of death. Not, not just of pathogenic organisms, but the top 10 cause of death, like over, uh, like in, included in the group of car accidents, heart attacks, diabetes. It's the top 10 cause of death on this planet and the leading cause from a single infectious agent above AIDS and HIV. In 2018, an estimated 10 million people fell ill with tuberculosis worldwide. 5.7 million men, 3.2 million women, and 1.1 million children. Guess how many people died, guys? Look at this. It's right here. 1.5 million out of the 10 million who fell ill. That's a mortality rate of 15%. We're not shutting down the airline industry and telling people in Africa that they can't get on a flight. Nobody's, nobody's conducting tests. Oh, have you had or do you have tuberculosis? You can't get on this flight. You can't board the metro. You can't conduct business. You have to close your business. You can't come into this country with tuberculosis running rampant. 10 million people have it and 1.5 million people will die. Why aren't you, just to ask yourself a question. By, by the way, tuberculosis is called uh, myobacterium. It's my, myobacterium tuberculosis. This is an airborne disease, highly infectious. So infectious that it, it's on the top 10 list of things people die for in the world. And you're not closing your businesses for TB, but you are for CV-19? Why are they hyper-accentuating 24 hours a day, seven days a week on mainstream media? Why aren't any of those reporters asking them themselves the question, why isn't government shutting us down for TB? Why, heck, why aren't they shutting us down for regular influenza? We've never had this before. Why is nobody asking that? Because mainstream media, like we've said time and time again, is proving through all this. Listen, guys, this is worldwide economic terrorism. Worldwide economic terrorism is being foisted on you in the name of a lie that something, the guy that's killing three is far more dangerous than the guy that killed 321. That's exactly what's going on. And, and we need to wake up, guys. They're trying to force mandatory testing, according to James Bullard, the Federal Reserve president of the St. Louis branch. He wants you to have not only tests, but everyday tests and then wear a badge. Look at my last video. Listen to it from his own lips. Oh, Brian, you're such a conspiracy theorist. I'm not the one foisting mandatory testing on you every single day as an American. And if you don't get these tests, you can't open your business. You can't board a flight. You can't get on the metro. You can't get on a bus. And pretty soon they're going to say, hey, you need to show your digital ID certification before you can even conduct any transaction. Show us your vaccine certification, says Bill Gates. I'm not making this stuff up. This is stuff that they're saying. They want to force you to take their vaccines, their chemical subsidized government soupy mixture floating around in your veins. They want to control you. Look up ID 2020. That is their plan. Simple question. Giving their numbers. Again, this is the World Health Organization saying this. I'm not making this up. Why aren't you freaking out about 10 million highly infectious TB? Oh, because we got it all under control. No, you, TB, 1.5 million people die every year from TB. 10 million come down with it. Highly infectious bacteria, airborne bacteria where you could be sitting in, just in the same boxcar with somebody and it floats into your lungs. No, no, no. We're being lied to. I need you to share this video with everybody you know. We have got to wake up and we've got to stand together. If we don't stand together, we will hang separately. And I leave you with this one thought right here. 
If Bill Gates and Anthony Fauci really believe that you and I, it's imperative that we engage in social distancing, then why don't they, why don't the COVID-19 task force ever practice what they preach? You know why? Because you don't practice what you preach because you don't believe it. They're handing us a lie. They know it's a lie. They demonstrate it's a lie. Their numbers and their statistics show it's a lie. And if it looks like a lie, it walks like a lie, it acts like a lie, and it talks like a lie, then dang it, it's a lie. And we need to wake the heck up.